fucking chance. All right, we are bunkering things. Oh, did you want to say? Uh, yes, I do. All right, so we are bunkering bottles. This is not one yes. of the ones that we're bunkering because um, this is too much, too expensive, and uh, yeah. kind of hard to find. Very hard to but find. But we do have yeah. some on the table right now where we are kind of holding some back. We it's find them. Though. We usually try to get one or two and bunker yeah. them back. I guess I'll start. <laughs> you start. All right, so any sort of four rows of single barrel that is a six tier. Let me move this mic away from my face. Let me take a sip. AJ, it was improved when you had the microphone in your face. Ooh, that's good. That cognac finish hurts. <laughs> cognac finish. <laughs> that's good stuff. If you look right there, it says 11-6T. That number in the middle is what's important. That number indicates what level uh, in the Rick House the barrel sat. Six is going to be underneath the ceiling, underneath the roof. So it's going to be hotter up there. It's going to be able to draw in the more. Roof. The roof, the roof, the roof, roof is, is on fire. fire. We don't need no one to need that motherfucker. If you find a six-tier bottle, pick it up because oh, they, yeah. they are vastly yeah. different than yes. Well, even the five and so five and six are vastly different than four and below. Yes, um, one hundred, and they're the same price. Yeah. You'll be you'll be amazed at the difference. But and, and if you don't believe us, buy two of them. Buy a one or a two and or five and a six and put them together. Blind them. Well, we've got a three over here and up against the six, and there's a noticeable difference even in the color. Oh, the color. This is so much darker. So much darker. Yeah. It's, it's at least a couple shades darker than the third tier. On my list here is Russell's Reserve Store Picks. I've got some. You got some, <sighs> dude. This this one in particular. This one came from Liquor Point in Moore, South Carolina. And you this one say single barrel. Did I say? Oh, well, it, it was a store pick. It's a single barrel store pick. Uh, it was implied. Single barrel was implied <laughs> when you say store pick. This one in particular is knock your socks off good. But I have not found a Russell store pick that I don't like. Same. And these are, I mean, reasonably priced. It's kind of like the Four Roses single barrels. Those are, you can pick those up for 50 bucks or less, depending on where you're pick, uh, buying them. Yep. These you can pick up 50, 60 bucks typically. Definitely on the hunt for them. And what makes, what, why I like them so much is like, I like a, I like a thick whiskey. Like, <laughs> you I like, no, I mean, I'm oily. I like it oily. Yeah, like I want it I to, to coat. I want it to last. Yeah. And these never fail to provide these, that. These, I mean, this even, if you look at the bottle even, it's it's, it's coating. It's super oily. It's yeah. like a bottle of olive oil. Yeah, it, it's super coating. And that's what I really love about the Russell's store picks as well. I mean, they're just so good. They're much more prevalent now. They're, all the store picks are coming out. And I'm bunkering them. When I see, see them, I'm getting them. Yep. And if I find one that I like, I'm getting multiples of it. We're going to come in with the real thing. This is Larceny. Which one is this? This is B522. This one's really good. So B522 is what we have... Uh, the most in our area. We have a lot of barrel proofs anyway, yeah. but the B522s are still floating around. You get them super easy in our area. Let me preference that again, yeah. in our area. You can comment all you want. We understand that, that some of you guys cannot get this bottle, Yeah, but we can, right? And so it makes our <laughs> uh <-huh. list. laughs> But in the same yeah. in the same regard, you guys can get stuff that we can. So exactly. It, you know, there's yeah. a give and take, and we're gonna be bunkering the B522s. We're and, in the coming years, yeah, we already in the coming batches. We're gonna be bunkering those two. Yeah, y'all know we give Buffalo Trace products in general a whole lot of shit. Bottom line, you're paying too much for it. Yeah, you're paying too much for it. When, when you're paying two, three, four times what the retail should be for them, that's where I have the issue. It's not that it's not great because some of these are great. So, I mean, point in case, I've been bunkering Weller Antique 107. I really love this bottle. I it's think good. it's absolutely there's, delicious. There are four in this room right now. Yeah, there's four of them here. And if I find more at a good price, I'm going to continue bunkering these because I do absolutely love this pour. Am I willing to pay two, three hundred dollars for a bottle? No, no. no. no that's just, I'm uh, not going to do that. Hundred bucks or less? Yes. And that's what I've been able to find. All of these bottles been able to find for under a hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Some, a couple of them, well under a hundred dollars. More than happy to pay that for it. But I'm not gonna pay over. That's me personally. I if agree. you are, no problem. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not ba uh, bashing made on money, you. Yeah. So this is one I would definitely bunker. So I'm gonna be bringing in a few a few bottles. If you guys know us and you've been watching us for a while, you will know what we're bringing in. 
This is Friday at Fred's. This is Port Night Rises, and this is Port Night, all from Storytime Distillery. These right here, you get these if you are part of the Authors Guild. Link to that will be in the description below. You can go to storytimedistillery.com and navigate your way there. Once you're part of Authors Guild, you can then uh, purchase these really, really amazing this, whiskeys right here. I mean, this is this is Friday at Fred's. So this is a cigar blend. It's got to oh, be one of the best cigar blends I've ever had. Honestly, oh, yeah. this is one of the best whiskeys. It's in the top ten. Yeah, cognac finished. And it is freaking amazing. Yeah, port, or, or port finishes. These are both from Jepson. This is Starlight, and Starlight makes their own port also. So they use yeah. those port barrels to finish their whiskey. And I really like this. In fact, this is my bottle, and this is my bottle. I just ended up buying them because yep. I'm bunkering these. I can drink one of these a day if I really wanted to. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, yeah. for me, they're, they're just oh, yeah. freaking amazing. They're just amazing. If, yeah. if I wouldn't get sick, I would. I mean, it's just like, if it wasn't like so hazardous to your health to drink that much, yeah, I mean, you know, yeah, I mean why not just chug it? But no, to your point, yeah, I'm bunkering these because, and, you know, caveat to this, disclaimer, yes, shameless plug, we are part of Storytime, the yeah. Storytime family now. We fell in love with all this before we ever had any sort of business relationship with Storytime. These bottles, actually, this set of three bottles are three of the bottles that made us fall in love with the entire story time lineup these are all when they're gone they're gone gone that's and one of the reasons why we're left. bunkering i've got multiple friday at fred's in here as well i'm Same. gonna bunker some more i've got to actually this is my last bottle no there's one more bottle of port night over there i'm going to bunker some of these before those cases are gone because there's limited cases very limited cases of this and I'm there's some gonna of the buy twins another couple of these yeah. honestly it's one of the things when it's like any single barrel it's i mean go back to even this like a, a good store pick that just knocks your socks off get it because once that barrel's gone it's gone it's gone. you're never gonna get it again yeah this one in particular this is the last bottle from the liquor point uh, actually, this was the last one on the shelf. God, if I could go bunker 10 more of these, I would, because this one is just so good. You just, I'm was, never going to get it again. Was that the one that we got or that you got during the bourbon hunt? Or did you go back to Liquor Point? I went back to Liquor Point and got another <laughs> I didn't one. Know got you the, the, that. Yeah, I went and got the last one. I was like, I love that first bottle so much. Mm -hmm. And I shared it. We shared I drank a lot of it. I drank a lot of it. I shared it with some people, and everybody loved it. I ran back there uh, when I was uh, coming home from work one day. And this was the last bottle on the shelf. I'm like, is this the last one? And they're like, yep, that's the Lucky. last one. And mm -hmm. it's the same thing with these. That's where me, I'm going to bunker several of these because yeah. once they're gone, even us being a part of it, we can't ever get these again. Leave it in the comments below what some bottles that you guys are bunking are. Bunkering are. Bunking? Bunking. Bunking? bunking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you get in the south bunk, yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you yeah. bunker in some bottles, let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear what you yeah. guys hit the, think. Hit that subscribe button for us. It helps. It really does help. Just... Freaking hit it, man. Yeah, just smash it. Is there a ruler on this? What? 